problems with the way that pharmaceutical aerosols are currently administered is that they're, they're delivered with devices and formulations that were developed a number of decades ago. If we look at uh, the inhalers that are currently on the market, all the inhalers that are out there right now have all been designed for adults. If we want to deliver new medications, new pharmaceuticals and biologicals through the inhalation route, we need new devices and new formulations that are more efficient. So we take a multi-pronged approach. We work very closely with pharmaceutics. Uh, our side of the project is to develop strategies and devices that will deliver the aerosolized medications more efficiently. We put that together with the formulations that are developed in the Department of Pharmaceutics and Dr. Hendel. One of our focuses has been to try and develop inhalers specifically for children. So these are children who often have problems breathing, they have different inspiratory flow rates compared to healthy individuals. So this is um, a nose mouth throat model of a newborn. It, the scan was originally from a one month old child, or infant, but we had to scale it down using its height um, based off of scaling factors published in the literature to bring it down to the newborn, zero day old size range. Past the face here, you have the nasal cavity, um, and then the pharynx back here, down through the larynx, and then this is the trachea. So one of the big challenges with aerosol drug delivery right now is a lot of the drug actually doesn't actually make it into the patient. The particles that we deliver are too large, so it seems obvious that what you would do is make the particles smaller and try and deliver them deeper into the lungs, and that's the idea that we came up with. So the approach that we've taken in my lab in the pharmaceutics department is to formulate particles that actually increase in size as they enter the lungs. They'll go from being half a micron in size to two or three microns, those particles then deposit in the lungs. Essentially we uh, put the powder inside the chamber and then we seal it. With just a syringe we aerosolize that and that gets delivered to the either infant or preterm. So the drug will get aerosolized in here, uh, travel through the cannula, and then that is actually what gets uh, inserted into the nostril of the infant we're delivering the drug to. Working on something like this to really help out you know, infants who can't do anything at all for themselves, they're completely dependent on us for their survival, it's incredible to think that I have an opportunity to really impact and possibly save lives. Another thing that's really important to us at VCU is that we're doing all the research here. It's done within the School of Pharmacy, the College of Engineering. We also have collaborators in microbiology, the School of um, Medicine, both in the uh, Children's Hospital and in the uh, Center for Pulmonary Research at the Johnson Center. I greatly enjoy my work. Um, I, I take great joy and, and pride in being able to collaborate with pharmaceutics on a problem that I feel can significantly impact human health and to be able to work with outstanding students and postdocs day in and day out that are equally committed, that are excited about what they do and that have great ideas. Thank you.